Hey, welcome to this tutorial and in here I'm going to show you how you can use a streaming software just like OBS to actually live stream on Facebook. Or you can do that on YouTube as well. But for YouTube, I have a dedicated lesson as well. Now, with that being said, you might ask me a question like, uh, I can do that on my mobile. So why do I need OBS, right? You have a valid point. Yes, we know that we can just start off our Facebook and we can click on go live. We can have our camera like this and we can start going live. Definitely we can. But just imagine if you need to share something say for example a presentation or say for example you want to give a tutorial where you need to display the screen can you do that on your mobile can you do that something like this no you can't right so for those you need a actual streaming software right now I am going to prefer OBS over here because OBS is number one right in terms of streaming and secondly it's free as well so again with that being said without further ado let's jump inside of OBS and let me show you how to do the stuff step by step so the first thing that we need to do if we I guess you have already downloaded OBS so it's fine if you have not you can download OBS and then once the OBS opens up I'll start with a brand new scene actually so that you can do it step by step right so let us name the stream something like live stream fb just for an example right and then click on ok and as you can see a blank screen has been added now say for example i want to give a tutorial and uh, the tutorial is based on my desktop or on my laptop so what i need to add first is just click on this plus and within the scene i need to actually add my display capture so i can just do that and i can name it something like screen and I can hit on OK and boom as you can see the screen has been captured so I click on OK and it has been captured over here secondly I would need my microphone to be added right so I'll go over to audio input capture and in here I would select my microphone now I have already added my microphone if you have not you can just go ahead and do this create new as well that's up to you now once this is done as you can see my microphone has been turned on as well thirdly I want to add a webcam right so that um, people can see my face so for that we'll go over to this video capture device and in here we would name it webcam sony just for an example and click on ok and in here we are going to select the sony webcam so we have done that right as you can see over here select the sony webcam be turned on and there you can see it's a much vivid picture as you can see the both the picture there is a lot of quality difference that is why people use um, things like this right so that being said we can click on ok and boom as you can see it is perfect perfectly all right now we can bring the display over here as well the camera and one thing on obs that i want you to know is that obs gives you a special way to actually crop the camera so we can just press on the alt key and we can make the, this camera angle a little shorter so that it doesn't take up a lot of space right i can make it just like this for an example boom then right now uh, since i'm using a green screen over here what i can do is that i can just come over to this webcam and in here i can go over to this filters and in here i can add an effect filter which is called the chroma key so just do that and once we do that we can actually go transparent as well so if i click on close now you can see i have got a nice little transparent effect right so that's quite cool with that being said uh, say for example we just wanted this kind of a setup where I would be in a transparent way and on the background that is on the screen there would be something related to a presentation or something like that right so uh, let me actually go over to my desktop and let us see whether we have any presentation over here or not so we can find one of the presentations over here although this is not at all related to tutorials but I'm just going uh, I'm just showing you how to do the stuff right so here we have uh, something on an event called HDPL and uh, I've actually opened it up so on the live stream there will be like this uh, presentation going on along with my transparent webcam right now once this is done we are done with the setup of our screen right on OBS so we have done that perfectly now we want to actually send this stream directly into Facebook so that people on Facebook can watch this stream right so for that what we need to do is that we need to just head over to our Facebook and in here as you can see this is one of my pages right so in here you can find a thing called live video just click on that and in here I want you to know a few things over here 
you can just come over here and you can schedule your event like you can see create live video event you can create it ahead of time so that your viewers get a reminder before you go live or you can go live right now as well so let's click on go live now as soon as we do so we get a couple of options one of them is webcam this is the normal way of going live like the phone like this right and the other way is the streaming software now this is the one that we are going to use right now before we go that far i just wanted you to uh, know there are some things on facebook live so let me move my camera to the other side so that i can show you the things here you can see you can connect your video source you can have a complete post details and then you can go live these are the few steps that you can have right so in here you have a streaming software so the first thing is connect your video source so i'll select the streaming software software as soon as I do so in here I can find the stream key right so I can just click on copy and the stream key would be copied right now now once that is copied I will head over to OBS again and in here I will go over to settings and on the settings I can find a thing called stream again let me move my camera out of the way so that you can see everything right so in here you can see stream so I can click on that and in here I have different streaming services right as you can see over here so let's select Facebook live as soon as we do so you can see here there is the default server and then it asks us for the stream key so let us paste the key that we had actually copied right and once we have done so we can click on apply and then we can click on ok and now as soon as we do so it means that i have actually been able to connect the facebook with obs via this streaming key once we are ready with it we can just click on start streaming and it will send the signal over to facebook so let's do that let's click on start streaming and as you can see it's coming as connecting right now and in here on this bottom thing you can see it's live right so that means I have successfully been able to connect it also there's a green thing over here as well showing the connectivity as well so it's perfectly all right so now if we go over to Facebook and in here if we scroll down over here you can see that I am being able to find this stream right so it works perfectly and as you can see over here the connect video source is ticked on the second thing that I want to do is complete the post detail. So in here we can add the post detail over here as you can see add post details. So in here I could write what is about the post. I can give it a title. So this is on HDPL event sponsorship so we can do that. We can also add a full blown description if you want to add a links you can do that as well. And then you can also add to your post different things like you can add a location, you can add a feeling activity, you can also tag your business partner with it. So that's all up to you. Now once this is done I will click on save. And as you can see over here now the second step is also completed right. So now we are actually ready to go live right so the third thing is going live so that brings us really excited right so now on the so now let, let let us move the camera to the upper side over here and in here we can select where we want to post that is we want to post it on our timeline or we want to post it on any group we are a part of right we can control that we can also control when we can post right we can post it right now or we can post it later as well we can do a schedule as well that's up to us right now with that being said you can also go inside of it now I don't think you are going to get this kind of detail anywhere on earth right because I do these things regularly and I have a kind of expertise in it that being said please follow this step by step in here you can find some things called stream setup under that you can find a thing called settings in here you can click on this and you can actually control the everything like the stream settings you can control the viewer settings you can control the comment settings all of that is possible right you can restrict the comments you can allow comments you can do anything that you want you can also have the interactivity like you can add a chat bot you can add polls you can add questions you can add graphics you can add prompts anything and everything that is quite exceptional because this can really really give a huge interaction from your audience right and then you can also have the distribution like you if you want to cross post it you can do that and last but not the least is monetization you can just go ahead and have it monetized via stars so that is all regarding the settings that you can do over here and then you can also turn it on public or you can actually select any other audience as well if your page allows that right but that being said we are ready for it so let's click on go live as you can see it's starting over here so there you go it has gone live right 
So as you can see, the end live video comes up. And as you can see over here, this is the live video that you are seeing. So this is quite amazing stuff to have, right? You can actually go ahead and do any and every stuff with it. So I'm ending this live video right now because uh, I don't want this. This is irrelevant. So I, this is not for my page. So my viewers might get distracted, but this was it for you to learn how you can actually schedule or even go live with a broadcasting software like OBS and you can actually reach out to Facebook with it, right? So that being said, let's end this live video and we will meet on the other side. So in here you can see what you want to do after you choose to end. So I would choose to end it right now and boom, it has gone ended, right? And as you can see, you can view your post right now, you can trim your video or you can even clip from your video as well. So that being said, let's view the post. And in here, as you can see, HDPL event sponsorship and it has also already got a love reaction as well from some of my uh, followers. So that's quite amazing. So with that being said, uh, that's it for this little tutorial. And uh, I really hope that you guys have enjoyed it. And uh, we'll meet again on the next one. And on the next one, I'll be discussing something even more interesting. So stay tuned and keep learning.